Hey guys, what's up? It's Tritonus again. We are back with Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus. Now, as you guys might notice, or I hope you notice, I won't know how exactly the video will turn out, but I managed to get more of the game in the screen. I had to do a lot of adjusting, I had to move the camera around a lot, but... Well, I hope, at least, and you can see how much doubt I have in my voice, We're that... We're all set to go to Mesa City! He keeps interrupting me. Anyway. I just hope that there's a lot more of this in the frame. So anyway, uh, enough with the technical difficulty crap. Basically, we've already gone through Sir Raleigh the Frog's area, and we beat the living snot out of him, which wasn't that hard. Now we move into... We're all set to go to Mesa City! Must he do that every time? Anyway, we move into Mesa City, Mugshot's territory. Let's go pull a... Whatever. I swear I had a joke in mind, but it just didn't turn out very well. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Smooth his muscle with a fiendish thigh. Would he lack in brains? He definitely made up for a fraud. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. The dog father was there that clever first gangster, and he knew instantly that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration and steroids, he'd become a hard boiled Insecure. Junior, what are you doing up there? You ain't firing those guns again, are you? then. Let's get this started, shall we? A rocky start. See? Just like I said. Take those things. Another keep out sign. When will they learn, huh? Oh, come on. Uh, that was robbed. I was stolen right there. Okay, I realize I just switched those words around. No need to comment. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do no, me I mean the new sexual position I learned. Of course the ninja spire jump. Diminutive points. Leap is lively and presses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So, jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Okay, so basically... Jump, hit the circle button, just like usual. I am going to try to get all the clues, which may or may not turn out very well, I don't know yet. Climbing, jumping, twirling. Wait a minute. Muckshot is a dog, and yet he keeps pet dogs. Oh my god. Muckshot's a slaver! <laughs> wow. He keeps pets that are his own species. What the heck? Medial clue gathering. 
Don't worry, we're gonna get to the action-packed stuff soon. Bear with me, folks. Simple stuff. Michael Vick on those guys. I know, that was a horrible joke. I apologize. I, I really do apologize. That was a horrible joke. How many hateful comments am I going to get for that? Well, since I'm not that popular, probably two or three. The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing. But it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Okay, I got another question, and I know this is another instance of me overthinking the logic of the game. But why in the heck do they make all the security precautions around the areas in this game visible? I mean, wouldn't they be more, I don't know, what's the word for it, effective if people couldn't actually see where they were? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, if you can see where these lasers are, and if you can memorize the pattern, they're actually pretty easy to get past. Oh no, this guy. I've had many an irritating situation because of this guy. Hang on. The thing about it is, you're used to jumping at enemies and hitting them, but if you do that, you get hit by the like, wrecking ball. Which is something you want to avoid. I think he is, Gambit. Oh yes, old raccoon, I uh, hit you with my cards. That was a horrible impression. Shame on you, Tritons. Shame on you. Ah. Fail. <laughs> oh man. The first of many, I'm afraid. First of many. Okay, let's do this again. Like last time, but better. And with less fail. Damn, it look like, screw you. Anyway, I got that clue down there anyway. I remember that one the most, because that's the last one I collected on the first time I ever played this game. Like, I was looking for it the entire time, I wanted to get 100% completion, but then I just couldn't find it, and it turned out to be behind that car the whole time. I was so freaking pissed off when I found that out. I felt like the developers of the game had pulled some cruel prank on me. This doesn't look unsafe at all. The heck, it wouldn't let me jump. There we go. Screw you. Yeah, sure, go ahead, announce your presence, so I can hit you first. Get these guys. Alright, the safe's over there, so I'll know where to go to get that. motivates people to set up subway cars like this. I mean, did they just get here naturally? Did they crash and nobody bothered to get rid of them? They just seem a little too conveniently placed for me. I don't know what it is. Turn off the security system, which is a lot easier than it should be, I gotta be honest. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Made me lose a lucky. Oh, I got it back. Huh. How lucky is that? And of course, just like every other time I've played this game, it's always one that I miss. <sighs> Screw it. Anyway, I'll just come back later and get it. But in the meantime, time for an epic key getting scene. Epicness! 
Uh, right then, we just open the door like this. Yes. And then we go through the tunnel. And we enter into Mugshot's turf.